Hi, I'm with my boy Scott. We're about to go work out at the famous Gold's Gym before I get to cook for him all day long. Scott, you excited, my friend? Oh, so excited. I'm gonna take you through a nice little chest workout, maybe some calisthenics, then get some food afterwards. Yeah, so if you guys don't know who Scott is, we're gonna throw a few clips of him doing what he does. So, we'll see you guys in there. Scott says, hey, let's let's go outside. We're gonna finish the workout. I'm like, all right, cool, cool. He says something like, oh, I'm gonna teach you how to do Superman push-ups. I'm like, my chest is about to fall off, but he's about to show me how to do it. He says I can do it. So I'm gonna take his word for it. So explain to them what exactly a Superman push-up is. So what a Superman push-up is, it's like a normal push-up, but when you explode off the ground, your hands and your feet both come up in the shape of Superman in the air. Makes sense. Uh, you want me to demonstrate? Uh, you got it, yeah. Give an example, okay. Sure. So a normal push-up is here, down, up. Superman push-up is down, up. And that's Superman push-up. You ready? Make me look bad. All right, here we go. You ready? Here's first. Give me some pointers. Walk okay. me through it. Walk everybody through it. Okay. So, key point with the Superman push-up is actually in your hips. Yep. The higher your hips go, when you eventually unfold into that Superman, the higher Superman's going to be. So what I mean is, when you're pressing off the ground, Send your hips up, and that's gonna take you into the air. Throw my hands At up. At that high point, then throw your hands and feet up. Does that make sense? I'm gonna knock out my teeth. Oh, you got this, here we go. Down up. Hips two. Oh, Ooh. there you go. There you go, start small and get bigger. You got this. Again, boom. Yes, perfect, <laughs> perfect. A little bit difficult after a chest day, considering our chest power is probably gone, as we just smashed chest with weights. But that's looking good, man, here we go. Yes. Uh, really good. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, you run me over. Of course. And then you got, no, em then you got Emily Hayden this. coming through. Yeah, right. Doing power like lunges. Kicking in the face. Like <laughs> How'd that feel? So fine. I'm just like fried. Yeah, again, a little bit difficult after chest day. Not always the best. But because you are doing it after chest day, you're making more gains. Hey, you hear that? It's scientifically proven. It is. It is. Yeah, I appreciate it. Okay, so one of my favorite sets to do at the end of my workout, especially on chest day, is back flip to Superman. Sorry, I know, Eric, right? Eric is here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. All right, workout is in the bags. Now it's time to get to the real content. It's time to eat. Chest day crushed. We got all the gains. Did a little weights. Did a little calisthenics. Did it all. How you feeling? Good. Yeah. You look good. good. You My, look good. Uh, I feel like I got a little bit of uh, nice little chest implants, but it's all good. Now we're about to go eat. I'm about to treat this man and show him what we do. Can't wait. Need some recovery gains. Throw up.
portable and it's hot. Oh, I'm ready. You guys ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Let's try it out. Oh, so so good. Try a little bit of crunch wrap heaven. That's what it's like. Amazing. Seriously, so good. This stuff too. I added some of this on top. Is that oh, one of my sponsors? On that, this, this. On that. Yeah. Let's try out these veggies right here. Oh yeah. <laughs> like cheese seasoning? Oh, I know. Um, how long have you been acting? Um. I was acting before I moved down here. I actually moved down here for acting. So I've actually been acting for like eight, nine years now. Mm -hmm. um, when I moved here though, for even still, it's just hard to get into that world. Yeah. So when I moved here, I had a full-time job as a VP for an outdoor luxury furniture company. Mm -hmm. And so I was working like full-time job. I'd be at work at like 7 a.m. I get off work at like 6 p.m., go to the gym for like an hour after that, leave that gym, go to like Tempest free running, work on like my, uh, you know, parkour and gymnastic skills, get home. So you've been doing that? You've been going to that place for a long time? Yeah, not like three or four years, four years now, almost. And so um, it was a grind though, and so I'd get home at like 11, eat food real quick, in bed by like midnight, up at like, you know, 5, 30, 6 a.m. the next day, and I just kept doing that for a while. And then started posting that kind of progress on Instagram, just kind of showing what I was doing with like no thought behind it at all. And then, um, that's how it always starts. I know, it was just no fun. thought behind it. There's no. no intention. It's just like, this is cool. Way to document it. It's fun. It's like, a, it starts as like a stress reliever. It was. I should enjoy it. I think, well, you know what it really was? I think, uh, I think, that, well, the reason I got into acting is I like making, I like movies, I like the concept of movies. I watch a lot of movies. And I think through Instagram, even though it was just fitness, I was still making little movies. Like, I would, I mean, I still do it now. Like, I would shoot little clips, I would yeah. like, edit them together, like, add some music. And it was like, I would, it was like my own little movie. Yeah. And, like, I just enjoyed that process. That's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So that kind of um, started working, and then people started hitting me up, and companies started hitting me up, and like, oh, can you wear this, or can you use that? And I was like, oh, I could probably make this into a business, yeah. sort of, you know? And That's then, the evolution, and then all yeah. of a sudden, you turn it into a business. Yeah. So that basically became my job, which was great. And now, now I just do that in acting. Let's do a little batter taste to uh, preview the dessert to come. Batter's always the best part. Oh, so legit. So legit. Bomb. Here we go. Frosting check. Most important part. Any dessert. So legit. I can literally eat all the frosting. I'm gonna, no have, to say, I'm gonna have to take this from him. <laughs> it's bomb. I know, you already told me he eats all the batter, the cookies, yep. so I got it. the frosting. Trust me, I'm flexible. Bro, well, I'm flexible too. Actually, <laughs> actually, I'm not that flexible. Check it out. Next taste test. This is the, uh, what is this again? My protein cookie butter. Protein cookie butter. I don't know why I'm saying it again. He just said it. But I'm about to taste test that, but I gotta get off my arm there. Alright, here we go. Protein cookie butter, taste test number one with one sprinkle. Oh yeah. Bro, this is gonna be epic. That should remind you of your childhood. It does. How do you do it? It's magic. He's a magic chef. <laughs> All right, this is my dog right here. Man, look at that. Well, let's show it off real quick. Look at that. Whoa. That's happening right now. Go for it, bro. Mmm, bro. So bomb. So bomb. I feel like I'm cheating. I thought this should be really high carb. And a boy. This is so good. Probably wondering why I'm sure it was right now. It's because we just took the perfect Instagram pic. And of course, for the perfect Instagram pic, you gotta be shirtless. So, it's not weird. Don't make it weird. So we are now on the rooftop of Equinox, shooting some uh, some content, mixing up the workout. As you saw before, we were doing weights, you know, kind of building muscle. We come out here to make that muscle functional. You know, functional movements, a lot of body weight stuff, some flips, some gymnastics, a little parkour, a little bit of everything. Check it out.
to my goals now Oh, I'm in my soul now You can hate the hustle, never slow down You can hate the hustle, never slow down Hustle, never slow down Hustle, never slow down It never slow down Hustle, never slow down I used to be that kid that every day would get rejected Picked on and laughed at, was barely respected And when it came to my friends, I was neglected But mama told me keep on pushing, had to keep on stepping up Until I made it to that balcony She said when I'm on top, ain't nobody looking down on me Oh bro, that's even better for your head Yeah, it was cold Fuck cold It's all good So, just had workout number two In the refrigerator, half my cookie and now I'm eating it. And it's amazing refrigerator. Dude, do you ever freeze it? Oh yeah. How is it frozen? Mm. Uh potatoes and pumpkins. It's gonna be so romantic. Do what you gotta do. Get on the pizza pan. I did, but maybe make the most of it. Yeah. <laughs> wanna say bye? Toast. You wanna see what's cooking in the oven? I would love to see what's cooking in the oven. Take a peek. You know, take a little, take peek, a little right peek. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh shit. Can I cuss on your channel? Sorry. Go for it. Dude, look at that. Dude, look at that custom cook job. The way you flipped over the, you know, uh, the you work with what you, you see got. That? You see that? I mean, what's more impressive, the food or how the food is being prepared? You know what I'm saying? Dang, he's always got like these one-liners. Like when you end, when you end a clip, it's like you think you've heard it off. But says right, he ends, and you just know when he's done because he's got that one-liner right at the end, and then he just looks at the camera. I try. You know what I mean? That's like a mic drop. Then Boom. that's it. You know what I mean? Boom. What do you? What you use for the crust? I can't tell you yet. You can't tell me yet. It's a secret. Was it a... Uh, I'll tell you after, don't even guess. <laughs> Damn it. Just you shot your totally freaking ex- mouth. You did, you saw food I was about And I'm cutting this with a knife because my man Scott doesn't have a freaking pizza cutter. Because I don't have a pizza cutter. It's not my fault. You know, I just wanted you to have a challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude, that's, that's exactly it. I mean, how many pizzas have you ran a pizza cutter through, which is nice and easy, to be honest. A lot. Exactly. So here, you mix it up a little bit. You get to show off your skill set and your creativity. Not only is he acting, or is this real life? This is real life, dude. No pizza cutter. No pizza pan. No problem. Not for Zach. Damn, these (laughs) one-liners. I'm saying, like every single time, he just gets to walk away. Zach recommends this one. I'm gonna take his recommendation here. Going for the pickup. What do we got here? That cheesy and steaminess coming off of that sucker. Here it is. Mmm. Oh, cheesy. How is that low carb? What's in that? What is in that? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. 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 This is my story. We ain't wow. gonna cut that. Wow. <laughs> Don't talk with your mouth full. That's what happens. Oh, wow. Dude, what's in these pepperonis? <laughs> I don't know. You're like, you're like, bro, it's, it's, it's pepperoni. <laughs> bro, it's turkey pepperoni. This is actually low carb pepperoni. Uh, all pepperoni is low carb. <laughs> <laughs> so, as I eat this pizza, I've been noticing that it's very dense in a good way, very filling. I'm guessing it's because it's so full of protein. I mean, I've almost had three slices and I'm already feeling full. So, the moral of the eating of this pizza is. Is that I don't have a one-liner for this one? <laughs> That's good though, that is a one-liner though. That's one thing I'm gonna work on with my life, is I need more one-liners in my you, life. You do? Yeah. It just like, steals moments in, locks yeah. in. Yeah, Scott's gonna be my one-liner coach. You, you can hit me up, Scott underscore Madison underscore, and I help people out with their one-liners. Yeah. That so he actually just gave me a discount code. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> you actually get two one-liners, you get one free. Yeah, you should go to FDL. Yeah. Ooh. 
Who was that in the middle? Happy birthday, dear me. Oh my god, there's an Oreo in there that looks delicious. Look at that. No, bro. You got it, bro. Skills, man. Here we go. First bite. Bro, killing it. <laughs> killing it with this food. So good. It has been an amazing day of eating. Um, it's very filling in a good way. Very delicious. Very, uh, I feel like each thing that you made was just good. And I feel like most people, myself included, I always just, everything I eat is kind of in routine. I'll eat like a lot of chicken with a lot of vegetables or all fish and vegetables. And I feel like everything I'm always eating is some mixture of like fish and vegetables. I feel like mm -hmm. all the time. And um, today's meal was just so different from that. And it just was so similar to what I would want to eat. Or like when I have my cheat meals, I feel like that's what I usually eat. And that's where, that's where we come in. It's like we give people no reason to cheat anymore. Yes. Because they have a better alternative. Well, it's just like, this is like what I would want to eat. This is like what I want to eat. And yeah. then we were like, hey, do you want cake? Or like, that was a Baskin Robin. I was like, oh, you want this cake or this cake? I go, this cake's the same. And you could literally add that every single night. And yeah. that's the beauty of it. Like, you eat more intuitively. Yeah. And so you don't necessarily know, like, have to track. But if you knew how to make this recipe and you knew yeah. the macros that were in it, you mm -hmm. wouldn't have to track. Or not. But you know it would fit in. Right at that. So good. So good. So it's all about, that's why we travel, that's why we do this, is we take people's opinions that um, we know, like, and trust people of value, and we just show them why we think we're valuable, and show them a, a cooler, easier way to not have to cheat on their diets. And uh, that's why I think we're special, is we give a better alternative, and there's no longer needing to cheat anymore. Uh, we and I think that creates sustainability in the long term. So, um, I mean, I think I gotta throw something in real fast. No, you're good. You're I good. I think a really important point is you shouldn't, as far as sustainability is concerned, like you said, you shouldn't have to cheat. Mm -hmm. Like, that's not. I mean, how long can you live that way, really? I mean, if you can create a diet that you can live with on a daily basis where you're not making a sacrifice per se, like you're not sacrificing six days to have one cheat day. Mm -hmm. It's just not realistic. No, because yeah, you're you're just looking at that deadline. Yep. I think the end goal really is to find something that you stick to, enjoy and be happy with. And that's, and that's eating, that's also training as well, just fitness. I think being fit is very important. I think this or diet plays a huge part in that. I mean, mm -hmm. diet is everything as far yeah. as fitness is concerned. If your diet's not on point, you will not look on point, no. or your fitness will not be on point. I want to thank Scott for letting us come out here and do this. This is, I mean, it's it's a cool thing. It's time out of his day. He just got back from Australia. He was there for a long time. It was a long flight back. He wasn't feeling too like too energized. He was a little <laughs> under the weather, but he let us come into his house, let us come into his day, get to see a day in the life and provide value. Please give the video a thumbs up for, for Scott. He's a good dude. Super good guy. All of his information is gonna be linked below, so make sure to go give him a follow and let him know. Um, let him know that we sent you. So you guys know we're in LA right now, and we're still in LA for another nine days. We have collabs throughout the whole trip, so please subscribe. We have so much more of this content coming, and uh, I want you guys to be a part of this journey. Uh, I wouldn't have any of this without you guys, so I appreciate you, each and every one of you. So know that. Whenever I say thanks and God bless, I truly, truly mean it. So whenever I say it to you right now, thank you, God bless, and I'll see you guys in the next video.